everybody, this is Hugo with Abitronics. I'm excited because I'm redoing a video I did 12 years ago, but this one's the short version. The tools you're going to need to compress and install a compression connector over a coaxial cable. In this case, I'm using RG6, but there's a variety of coaxes out there. 59, RG6, the standard dual shield, and then there's also quad shield out there and RG11. Tools you're going to need, a good cable cutter or wire cutter. Okay, different brands out there. Obviously, cable prep tools. Simple ones, really cheap ones, and then you get the nicer, fancier ones that you could also rotate the die out to uh, clean and prep an RG11 coax. And finally, the compression tool. You know, you have the clamshell style, you have a ratchet style that I don't show here, and you have the ability to turn the die and compress RG6, RG11. One of the things you're gonna do is, in this case, I'm using a simple one, just slide it in. You're gonna rotate this a couple times forward, a couple times back. When you remove it, you're gonna have a quarter and quarter. Quarter conductor, quarter of the dielectric and the braid. Peel the braid back. Insert the connector. Place the connector in your tool. These have been pre-compressed already, but long story short, you're gonna compress remove and you're going to check to make sure you got a great compression in this case that conductor should just be over that rim if you have issues where you have too much conductor throw it away recut start again too short conductor and not making enough contact or the dielectric in that case cut them remove them start again subscribe to our channel continue to follow our videos and blow this one up I'm 12 years older, and this is Hugo, and I hope you got value out of this. Thank you so much. Leave us some comments. Hope it was useful.